Hey everyone, it's Nick with RetroPixel Digital. Um, just wanted to share a cool little trick, tip, hack that we've learned during our amazing game development project here uh, called Green Hawk Platoon. So just to give you a little insight, uh, we have been working with uh, Unreal Engine 5 for a while now, but we've been using the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin skeleton, and it's caused some issues trying to convert over our whole entire thing to Unreal Engine 5 mannequin skeletons. So um, typically before, what we would do is we'd take the uh, animation for this particular uh, character and we do a retarget, but uh, and then we do that within Unreal Engine. However, in a lot of cases, Unreal Engine can the process is uh, a little bit involved. Um, it's great, it's powerful, and I recommend it for certain projects. But when you are doing real time animation retargeting, it can be a little expensive. And um, really, what the end result for us in this particular case was to just go ahead and uh, export um, animations that are compatible with the Unreal Engine 5 skeleton and just be able to use those natively rather than do anything to do with retargeting our new project. So, um, without further ado, I'll show you what we can do. So you can see here and you can change the uh, preview mesh. Um, so we can change the preview mesh over to nothing else because this is only compatible with the Unreal Engine for skeleton. Now we're not able to change the Unreal Engine for skeleton at all and we without doing retargeting. So this is the cool little hack that's going to hopefully save you some time doing that. Now we are using a software package called uh, Character Creator 4. Uh, I'm going to open that up here and uh, I'm just going to create a new project. But this is a paid project. This is a paid software. Um, so there is a 30 or 60 day trial that you can test out just to follow along and see if it's something you want. But we've just kind of adopted the whole Real Illusion suite here at RetroPixel Digital and we're loving it because there's a lot of other options and things that we can use for you know motion capture, real time, um, pre-visualization stuff like that it's really really powerful software but in this particular case all we'll be using is kind of their import export system which is amazing so um, I'm just gonna just gonna go through what we're gonna do in Unreal Engine so here's our animation it's kind of a cool super you know Superman drop like it's a heavy jump land um, I think it's really cool, but if we're using any kind of animations like this, this is just an example. Um, this is what we'll be using and applying over to the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin. So first thing that I did here is uh, I went in and I created the, um, I brought in the character animation. So the first thing that we're gonna need is some sort of APP Manny or sorry, we're gonna need some sort of uh, Manny simple or Manny skeleton. Um, base. So what I did here is because I didn't have it, I just hit add and then add feature content pack. And then I went in and added the third person project um, that creates a folder um, containing the meshes and skeletons that we're wanting. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to right click on uh, SKM Manny because this is the guy that we, this is the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin skeleton that we're going to want to apply this to. Um, so I'm going to right click on that, go to asset actions, and I'm going to export that. I've created a new folder on the desktop called UE5 Animations. I'm just going to do that. So this is going to be SKM Manny. We're going to save that out. Um, FBX export options can be default. And just hit export, and it should export out to the folder that you want. So I'm going to quickly open that up on the other screen here. And let's see, UE5 animation so this is showing here that the folder is in there or the files in the folder um, next thing that we're going to want to do is going to want to work with the animation itself and since I still have that open I'll drag it over here and here's the animation easy enough we just go ahead and we um, export the asset with the animation data and then we'll just add it to this here folder but I'm going to drop in a UE4 uh, extension at the end um, just so I know which one's which, and we'll save that out again. FBX export options, reset to default, export, and that will just drop it into this folder again. So we'll pop in over to Character Creator 4, and as easy as this may sound, I'm just going to drag in SKM Any into this. And uh, we'll import the FBX, we'll name it a character, we'll do a humanoid character, and then I'll hit apply. That's going to bring up this characterize profile, and we're going to switch that to Unreal Base Character. 
I'll hit OK. Uh, and then now we've got a cool little character here with the T-Pose. And the character is the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin, which is really cool. So again, just as easy as that, uh, we're going to click and drag the Jump Land RM UE4 right onto the selected character. And then we're going to switch the uh, motion profile over to the Unreal base character. And when I hit Convert All, we're going to see the animation is in there. Now we see the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin with the Unreal Engine 4 scale, uh, animation. So the next thing uh, is to just go ahead and uh, we're going to export that FBX and it will be the clothed character. Uh, and then once we do that, we'll just go ahead and make sure we're targeting tool preset is going to be Unreal Engine. Uh, and then the current animation, make sure that it's not by default, it's on current pose. We want the current animation and we want all of that. Uh, and for FBX option, we'll do mesh and motion. So then when we export that guy, it's going to give us a little notification here saying that if you change in the UVs or the mesh or the T-Pose data, then it's not going to be, be able to be re-imported into Character Creator 4. Not an issue for this particular case, so just hit OK. And now it's going to ask us where we want to put it. I'm just going to name it Jump Land RM UE5. And then we'll save that guy in there. And voila. Okay, so the next step is just to go back into Unreal Engine. We'll close this guy here. And I'm just going to create a new folder under the characters, mannequins, animations. I'm going to create a new folder here called converted. Converted. There you go. Uh, and then when I click on here, I'm just going to drag this guy in from here. We'll take the jump land RM UE5. And we'll do FBX import options. So, what I like to do is make sure that I just import the skeleton by it's like a new one. So I'll keep this as none. I'll reset all this to defaults. I uh, want the skeletal mesh, we want to import the mesh, and then we want to make sure the import animations is selected as well. Just because if you don't have that, you're not going to get your animation. So I'll hit import all. I want to bring that in. And you may be wondering why I don't apply it to the automatic or to the, the mannequin skeleton. Sometimes we can have some problems with, uh, you know, just error messages with merging bones and stuff like that. So uh, typically what I will do is I'll, I'll just import it this way. Then I will reassign the skeleton and then I'll just clean up all the, uh, you know, meshes and uh, physics data and uh, skeletal meshes that come in with it. And then that way we just have the file by itself. So a couple different ways you can do it. I just don't like seeing the failed uh, to merge bones error message because I have some trauma with that from previous experiences. But uh, in this particular case, we'll just do it like this. Um, you can try it any other way. So here we see, uh, if you see that, we've got our, It's this is actually, this isn't the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin. It is the... Well, it's not the actual one. This is actually the mesh that was exported. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and um, we'll we'll replace that. So there's going to be two animations in there. One of them is just going to be kind of sitting there. So just make sure you got the right one. This one here, you can see in the pre-visualization window that you got some emotion there. So I'm going to right click on that and then I'm just going to do replace skeleton. And we're going to look for the mannequin. So the SK mannequin, that's the one. That's the UE5. This one here is the UE4. So we'll just select that and hit OK. And it'll go do its thing. And then we should be able to see the new character in it. So this is the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin. Uh, this is Quinn. But if we want to switch to Manny, we can easily do that. I have some previews with him as well. So this right now is an Unreal Engine 5 scale, uh, animation. Super, super simple. Um, love it. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and uh, clean up a little bit. I'm just going to save all. Now it's going to save everything here. I'm going to go through, not this guy, but everyone else here. We'll delete that. If it complains about the force delete, um, that's okay because nothing else is being uh, referenced. It just says there's some um, assets are being referenced in memory, which is fine. So we'll just force delete that, save all. And now we've got a perfectly converted animation that we can apply. Uh, you can add it into your, um, you can add it into your animation blueprint. You can do whatever you need to do, but now you've got a file that is specifically for that. You can even export this animation out, you know, uh, we can go asset actions and export that, export that as an, a, an animo animation, 
directly, and then you could just click and drag it into uh, Unreal Engine, a, a different uh, project, and it will just be simple, 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 even simpler than this process. So hopefully that will help you guys out with anything that you guys are doing. Um, I know it definitely uh, cut down on the complexity and time of my um, of my projects and my workflow. So hopefully this will help you guys out. If you have any questions or concerns or anything like that, please post that in the comments and let me know how you think um, of this. And uh, hopefully we'll keep making some more tutorials here in between our busy, busy times of game development. Anyway, hopefully everyone has a great day and we'll catch you in the future.